Hi everyone, Chantel here. Today I am going to show you how I made and attached the handles for my Blair bag. I've got one right here, it's already attached. And I've actually made two ropes you can see in the middle here, it is connected. And then I have the ends of it through the holes at the top. I have all of my materials here, I have my strings already cut. Um, for each half of the handle, I have used 24 strands of yarn, and they are each 36 inches long, so I've got two sets of those. I've also got a clip that I'm going to use, a little bit of electrical tape, and scissors, and I have a little bit of scrap yarn and my darning needle that I'm going to use to secure the handles to the bag after I have attached them. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to set my bag off to the side here. I've only got one handle put on, so I'll be attaching the other one after it's finished. So for the first one, I've got one set of 24 strands. I'm going to first cut off a little piece of electrical tape. This is going, I'm going to secure it to make sure it doesn't fly around everywhere while we are twisting. One side, one end, try and get those a little more even. There we go. So for this one, I am going to tape it to your table or your floor or wherever you are. And... I also okay. will sometimes use something heavy to put it on there just for added security because we're going to be twisting this until it's really tight and you don't want it to slip out. So all I'm going to do is hold the ends of it and I'm going to start twisting. Whichever direction you like is fine. And you want to keep twisting until it is nice and tight. Once you've got it tight that it wants to start folding in on itself, that is where you want it to be. So I'm going to put my finger right about in the middle of it. And line your ends up together. And when you let go, it'll twist up on itself. And it looks like an adorable tiny hank of yarn. Let me take my tape off and this is where I am going to use my clip I'm just going to clip it onto the end of this yarn so it doesn't come untwisted while I make the other one so I'm just going to set this one off to my left side you will need it while you are making the other one I'm going to grab my other strands and get a nice long piece of tape this time And I am going to repeat the same process for this one with a little bit of a difference. So the difference with this one is before you start twisting, you want to grab your other strand that's already made and open up the middle of it and you want to pull your other strands through and I'm going to push this up here just so it's out of the way and then I'm going to twist okay so I've got this one twisted up nice and tight so before you fold it over, you're going to pull this one to the middle, and you want that fold to be right there. And let that one go and twist up on itself. And 
and that is how I got the handle. So see, this is the middle of it where both of them are joined and I've got my two ends here and now I am ready to attach them to my bag. So now I'm going to pull my bag back over here and you want to do one at a time. So I'm going to pull one of them off here. I'm going to leave the other end on my clip and just set that over to the side. And I am going to find the hole where you're attaching your handle and from the outside in and grab those strands, careful not to let them untwist, and pull it through. And if they do untwist a little, you can just twist them back up. And so now I'm going to make a knot at the end of it. And pull it nice and tight. You don't want anything to come unraveled. And I'm going to trim my ends so it's nice and even. And that's it for that side. And pull it down. And you've got a nice little knot to keep the handle there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And there we have it. I've got my two handles on. So as we all know, knit is really stretchy. So with this bag in particular, there was actually a little bit too much room in my hole here. If you can see how much extra space there is there. So I wanted to secure it to make sure that it wouldn't go anywhere. So I'm gonna flip it to the inside. And I've got my scrap yarn with my darning needle. And all I'm going to do is start weaving here and I'm going to take it through the center a couple times and then I'll weave my ends in and it will secure that hole there. All right. And is woven in over here now. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut that off. I like to weave that end in first so I don't have to worry, go back and re-thread it and worry about it again. So I've got my thread right here and I'm ready to go through. And I'm going to go through the middle of both chunks of yarn. So, see, I've got it right through the middle. And now I'm going to wrap it around a loop here. And turn this way. And I'm going to go through a few loops over the back here to get to the other side. so that I can go back through it again, and that's gonna tighten that hole up there. So see, once you get it tightened up, there is no extra room in that big hole anymore. So I'm gonna take it through. This time I did it a little bit closer to the back, just a few less strands. 
and then tighten it up. Make sure you've got that hole nice and tight and it is secure. I'm just going to finish weaving in my end. And there you have it. That is how I secured my handles to my bag. So turn it around here. You can't see any of the strands or anything. It is nice and secure. That handle is not going anywhere. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like. Thank you for watching.